All right, in this video, we're doing dividing polynomials. I have a trinomial, which is being divided by a binomial. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to do long division on this one. So this one, the first one goes always goes, the well, first one is always inside the box. The second one is always outside the box. And so what do I mean by that is if I had a, uh, we put the, we put x squared plus 4x plus 6 inside the box, and we'd have x minus 3 outside the box. Now, how do we do this? We actually do this in the same manner that you learned long division back when you are in elementary school. So I'm going to put one side by side so you can kind of see, the, see how it's the same process. So I'm just making up a problem here. That's an 8. All right, so the first thing we do over here is we are looking at 39 divided into 43,178. The way I always do it is I always look at the first digit and see how many times will 3 go in the first digit on 4. And we know it's 1, so we're going to put a 1 here. And when we do that, we actually multiply the 2 together to get 39. So 1 times 39 is 39. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do over here. We're going to take the first letter first one here and we're going to see how, what do I multiply it to make it x squared and you should say that it is x all right and now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply x to x and get x squared and then x times a negative 3 and get a negative 3x it's the same principle Alright, next on the other side, what we do is after we get through, now notice 1 times 39 is a positive number, but what we do is we subtract it. So otherwise we change the sign and then we actually will subtract it and bring down our leftover remainder. Then we bring down the next number. Alright, same principle here. Now notice that I have, just like I had positive 39 on the other one, now this I'm going to change the sign. So I'm going to actually subtract. Uh, x squared minus 3x. So I'm actually going to change the signs to their opposite. This becomes a zero pair. Then 7, uh, 4x plus 3x is 7x. And then I'll bring my next term down, which is 6x. All right, again, we're back over to the thing. Now I'm going to see how many times does 3 go into 4. Again, it's a 1 again. And so then I'm going to put 39 here. Same thing here. I'm going to see what do I multiply to x to make it 7x. All right, and really all I got to do is multiply by 7. So I'm going to multiply 7. And so that 7 is going to get multiplied to x, which makes it 7x. And then the 7 is going to be multiplied to negative 3, which makes it a negative 21. Oops, mark, erase the wrong one. Okay, so now I'm just trying to get rid of that little blue mark there so we can. All right, so now we subtract the two. Now remember, just like we did in the other one, we're going to change that positive 39 to a negative 39 and subtract them and then bring down my next number. All right, in this case, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change the signs because we're subtracting. And when we do, that becomes a zero pair. And then 7 plus 21 is 27. Now, I don't have any other to, to bring down. So our remainder, because this is a positive 27, we're going to put a plus, and we're going to say 27. That's our remainder down here. And then we're going to take our, our quotient here, and we're going to put it in there, or dividend. All right, and so there we go right there. So this is actually our answer, and we actually have a remainder. And so that's how you display your remainder in this situation. Let's try another one. Let's try one where we actually have a little bit of a different scenario. All right, so here's our first, there's our binomial, and we're going to divide it by another binomial. So remember, the first one goes inside the box. 
And the other one goes outside the box. Now notice, uh, there's not a sequential order with the exponents. So otherwise we have x squared, but no x to the first power. So what happened to the x power? Well, if you look at it this way, and I didn't mean to put it. If you look at it this way, it really kind of looks like we have x squared plus 0x to the first plus 9. So our exponent should be 2, 1, and 0, basically. All right, so I like to write it this way. So I'm actually going to rewrite my um, in order. And really, 9 does have an exponent. It's x to the 0 power. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. And so 9 times 1 would be 9. And so we really don't need to put x to the 0 power. I'm just showing it to you. All right, now that we wrote it this way, now we can go ahead and finish this. And I'm going to go ahead and erase the top part just so we have it out of our way so we have room. All right, and again, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. So I'm going to go ahead and write the, the same problem that we had before so we kind of have it and we can just follow that guideline. All right, so again, remember, we're looking at the first number, seeing how many times it'll go in the other first number. We know it's a 1, so we're going to say 39. What do I multiply to x to make it x squared? And you should have said x. And now we distribute x times x is x squared. I'm going to erase this part right here so it's not in our way. So this is going to be x squared, and then x times 3 is a positive 3x. Now notice we do have an x here now. And then remember before, we had to subtract the, we were going to subtract this positive 39. We're going to change to a negative 39 because we're subtracting. And when we do, it's going to cause us to have a leftover. And then we're going to bring down our other one. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to subtract. Then we have, when we do that, it means we have changed the sign to both of them. So instead of a plus now, it's going to be a minus. Now, x squared minus x squared is 0, so it's like a 0 pair. 0 minus 3x is going to be a minus 3x. Okay, now I can bring down my other x. I can bring down my 9. That's what I did over here. Now, again, we do the same thing. What do I multiply to 3 to... How many times will 3 go into 4? Well, it should be 1 again. And so we should get 39... We're, all right, same thing here. What do I multiply to x to make it a negative 3x? And you should say 3x. So I'm going to say minus 3x. Now I distribute the minus to both sides. So I'm going to take this three, negative 3 and multiply it to both of these guys. And I'm going to get a negative 3x minus 9. Now don't forget, we got to subtract, because we're going to subtract, which gives that, bring down our 7, like this. Alright, so now I'm going to change the sign, so instead of a minus, this one's going to be a plus, instead of this one's a minus, this one's a plus. And now I'm going to subtract them, and when I do, I get 18 as my remainder. It's a positive 18, so don't forget, we're going to say, and I'll do it in a different color so you can see it, so it's going to be plus... 18 over x plus 3. And so this is my answer right here with the remainder. So x minus 3 plus 18 over x plus 3.